Hey everyone, welcome to the Reef Tank Depot channel. Uh, this is BJ with Reef Tank Depot. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the Farble 13.5 gallon uh, reef tank that we were going to go ahead and set up in our bedroom. Um, so as you can go, as you can see here, I'm a little farther ahead than what we talked about in the video. Uh, I actually forgot to shoot the video whenever I was adding the sand and the rock and doing the scaping and everything. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview, show you guys kind of where we're at. Uh, we're about week three in the tank cycle. So things are looking pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to see under the blue light, but um, there's a window off to the side here, as you can see. And I'm getting a little bit of algae in the tank. Uh, and of course, there's nothing in it to eat it. So that's that could potentially be an issue down the road. But just to go over the setup, so this is our Farble 13.5. And right now we still have the stock lid and light, uh, which later on I want to go ahead and change out for a plexiglass uh, with a screen mesh light, or a screen mesh across the top and then a light mount. Um, over here we have our three chambers that we have set up. I definitely need to do a little bit of wire management over here. Um, so i got to figure out what I want to do with this, but in this first chamber you can see we have this orange colored block in here and this light um, we actually added a UVC, um, UV sterilizer light to chamber one, and had a good friend of mine, uh, Kyle, actually 3D print this insert that you can actually get for this so that it fits uh, watertight, forcing the water through the sterilizer. So you got that. Uh, then we got this Farvel uh, protein skimmer. Uh, man, I really don't know how I feel about this thing. So as you can see, I got a piece of tape across the lid. Um, yeah, you know, the cup just won't stay on the top. The lid won't stay on. Um, I mean, as far as functionality, it's, it's functioning. But uh, it's super annoying that that lid just won't stay on there. Um, so I ended up adding this piece of black tape for now just to secure the lid down. Uh, and then we're also dealing with some issues i got to figure out here. We're getting some micro bubbles uh, from the protein skimmer in that chamber, which then is resulting on micro bubbles in the tank. So here in chamber three, uh, i got my heater and my pump to circulate water. So uh, inside the tank, we ended up going with a small sand bed, so we did do sand. Um, I don't know if you remember in the first video I was talking about not being sure uh, whether I was going to do a sand bed in this tank or whether I was going to do bare bottom. Um, did end up doing sand. Ended up using Caribbean Sea um, damp sand, which, because it's damp and it's wet and they put bacteria in it, um, it helps speed along the cycling process. So we went ahead and added that. Uh, we got our reef scape in here. And then you can kind of see a little bit of the micro bubbles. They're still kind of hard to see. Uh, but you can see a little bit of them in there. Looks like my ring fell off my UV sterilizer, so I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, this is just a quick update showing you guys kind of where the tank is, what's going on. Um, like I said, we are three weeks into a 30 day cycle. Uh, once that's done, we'll go ahead and test the water. Hopefully, everything will be good. Uh, at that point, we'll do a small water change. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start putting fish and some inverts in here. And if all goes well, um, you know, a couple weeks after that, if there's no issues, um, then we'll start looking at seeding some coral in the tank. So, uh, once again, I apologize for, uh, not shooting that video. I was actually putting the sand in and getting the rock going. Um, got everything ready to go. It was a busy week and, uh, kind of all happened quickly. I knew I was getting behind on getting it done, so... I did it, and then as I was halfway through it, I went, crap, <laughs> I forgot to shoot the video. So, uh, sorry about that. I'll do my best to keep you guys up to date on what's going on um, a little more consistently as we go through this tank build. So, thanks guys for watching the channel. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments about the video, definitely just put them down below. Other than that, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.